Like a can opener, I am out. You just gonna leave while he's destroying the city, bruh? When I see you doing damage to him, I'll follow through. But he plucking y'all like daisies too. I gotta look out for me. Smash you! I thought we were heroes. Heroes don't run. We stand for what's right. You know what? You're right. Hulk smash! We don't get paid enough for this. Oh, nah. Yeah, let's route. They bugging. Right? Somebody's gotta go back and alert the crew. My man's just playing his green thumb in our vehicles like we're Play-Doh. Facts. Welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're gonna be talking about the vintage board game, The Incredible Hulk Smash Game. I really like this game. In fact, it is kind of a great follow-up to the Godzilla game, hence it's just a re-theme. This game came out in 2008. The original predecessor is 1998. I do um, kind of classify as a vintage game, mainly because it was just a revamp of that other game. And I think both of the different themes kind of fit in their own way. Now, the Incredible Hulk theme, the game is almost exactly the same. You have your playing cards that um, you draw when there's a little Hulk symbol on the die. Uh, much like in Godzilla, you do that for the Godzilla pieces. Uh, you smush down onto the colors, which the map almost seems identical. If I'm not mistaken, there's a few differences there, um, but nothing too outrageous. Now, the building pieces, very similar also. They are not made of clay, which was kind of my only gripe, I think. I'm looking to get kind of a mold to make them out of a city so that way when you actually draw a card that shows the city for it, you can smush down on it and it is extremely satisfying smushing things with the little fist in this game, the Incredible Hulk fist is so satisfying. Oh, it makes you feel like the Hulk. I'm sorry I'm kind of rambling on this, but I am a huge fan. And I do like that and the Godzilla game. I do like owning both. Uh, again, the game for this one I paid about 20 bucks for. It's very cheap. Fun for the hand. Fun for the whole family, I can't use words today. And cheap, easy to teach, I'm still rambling. You can find this, get a good deal on it, or this seems like the game for you. I highly recommend it. I think that and the Godzilla version, I probably would say I'm a more, I'm more of a fan of the Hulk version, mainly because it's the fist. But I do think the Godzilla one makes a little bit more sense because if we're thinking the Incredible Hulk, I'm thinking it being more um, violent towards the city, I, it just didn't make too much sense. I didn't really classify the Hulk as entirely a villain, while Godzilla is trying to save the world, but he is destroying the world all around him, so breaking cities down and things like that actually makes sense. The Hulk, not so much, but I do indeed love the game. The Little Fist is hilarious. It's a great gimmick. Uh, much like the other, you have this uh, kind of tray stencil piece where you put in the Play-Doh and it creates also the plane, the news van, the car, and the tank. Uh, I do like it. It is the same exact molds as the one for the Godzilla version. And the game's goal is you are rolling your die to go through and be the first to get two of your vehicles towards the exit. It's so simple, yet so satisfying. Again, my only gripe is to have the little pieces um, for the building to make them smashable because that would also be satisfying. And when you do smush them, much like Splat that I reviewed um, previously and also Godzilla, which is the same um, kind of reskin of this game or original skin of this game, uh, when you smush down one of their vehicles, it stays smushed on there. So if you end up landing on that spot, you skip forward one. I do like that. I think it makes the game go by extremely fast and it doesn't overstay its welcome. But that is honestly all I have for you guys today. I can't stress this enough. I'm a huge fan of this. I love Play-Doh games, but this is probably one of the better ones. Uh, this month too, I will be talking about a lot more Play-Doh games, so be on the lookout guys. That is all I have for you guys today. Again, if you are interested in notifications, there is a bell up there somewhere. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous, and with your guys' help, I have been doing so. Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Friday is my vintage board game reviews. That is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time.